Ethereum fees had touched new highs thanks to the popularity of the decentralized finance, DeFi, space. As network activity had grown, so had the transaction volumes. The effects continue to linger even into the bear market, although fluctuations between low and high are now more common in the space. Presently, transaction volumes have fallen sharply and ETH fees have now plummeted to monthly lows. Ethereum transaction fees have declined to one of their lowest points this year. Gas costs which have been fluctuating between high and low seem to have found their resting place at lower prices. In the early hours of Monday, the gas costs for the Ethereum network had declined to their lowest point for June. It sat at only 19.8 GWI per transaction at the time of this writing, which converted to about $0.5 per transaction on the network. Related reading Bitcoin may not reclaim all-time high for another two years, Binance Kithis translates to a more than 80% drawdown from the peak of the gas costs last week at 151.3 GWI per transaction. This coincides with a decline in transaction volume on the network, as shown on Masari. The data aggregation website shows that Ethereum's transaction volume is down more than 80% from its monthly high. On the 13th of June, transaction volumes on the network had sat at more than $10 billion in real volume. Today, the real volume was sitting at $570 million, the lowest it has been for the month. Supply has also taken a hit in the month of June. By the end of last month, there was more than 8.6% of all total ETH supply in DeFi. However, as of the time of this writing, there is less than 8.3% of the circulating supply in DeFi. This also translates to a dollar value of under $10 billion when three weeks ago, the value was at $30 billion. With the recovery in the price of Ethereum has come some good tidings for investors. But, there is still a gap in the profitability levels from last year compared to this year. Going into the last month of the year in 2021, more than 80% of ETH investors had been swimming in profit. Given that the digital asset had hit a new all-time high in November, this was expected. However, there is a significant drawdown from this point. Data from Into the Block shows that while the majority of ETH investors remain in profit, it is only by a small margin. 52% of wallets are currently in the green while 47% are in loss. This puts only 2% of all investors in the neutral territory, which remains shaky. Related reading, 